Together, in 2022, we made numerous good investments, particularly in our youth and our young adults. From Edmonton to Indonesia to the U of M, a Menno office, and I attempted to capture some of the goodness of that in the outcomes and ripples in my report. As we continue to walk into 2023, the image for congregational life and health that is sitting with me is laboratory. I'm increasingly convinced that these are the days for some calculated, discerned spirit, nudged experiments. MCM Mondays, uh, which kicked off in January, is a series of online conversations centered on uh, specific congregational ministry submission. And it is an experiment. We embarked on it and we are testing it, we're tracking it, we're tweaking it, and we're evaluating it. And the good news is folks from across MCM are showing up and we are having really good conversations there. So, it's great. In my visits and conversations uh, with congregations, I'm hearing, I'm seeing an openness to experimenting. Uh, that, that, I mean, prompted by our new realities, by our prayer, by our hope, we are changing up the ways we do worship, congregational care, faith formation. Some uh, congregations are considering like larger experiments, like seismic shifts in the use of their building, significant moves in, into the community where they are placed, and allowing ourselves to play radically with new ways of worshiping God. We are reimagining, actually. Brunch Church at Altona, Faith Family Nights at Douglas, Sunday School in the Park for both Home Street and Hope, Sunday Service in the Basement over at Sargent, Post-sermon Q&A for the people at Grace and Steinbeck. Prayers for each and every MCM congregation during worship at Winnipeg Osis. A growing network of our youth groups meeting monthly uh, in Winnipeg. Building considerations, conversations here, there, everywhere about that. Spirits alive, it's well, we're well, and we're working together. And the Spirit is inviting us to experiment. Coming this spring, there will be a gathering at Campus Sinaboya for youth and young adults. And we have called it Living Hope, Centering Connection. And there, when we gather, we will focus on creating and nurturing connections and holding conversations on the climate. Coming this fall, there will be some new supports for congregations. You'll be happy to hear that. And we are looking, who are looking for some Anabaptist assessment tools and accompaniment. So we're still shaping that together, but I just want you to know you can call me like we are here uh, to support you in the questions and the wrestlings that you are going through. Uh, may our conversations, may our congregations be living labs, right? Moved by the spirit, experimenting in ways we would have never, ever imagined. Uh, good news is, my friends, uh, this is not a, a human project. And thanks be to God for that. <laughs>